Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. Today we are going to talk about what you do when you shoot an interview, but the client has gone, look, we don't have any time to shoot any B-roll or we just don't have any overlay to really help you sell the story that you're telling. And what if you've only got one camera? What do you do? You need to cover that interview some way or another, because quite frankly, you can't get away with just like having a talking head talking to the camera the whole time. So what do you do? Well, here's a couple of tips and tricks that I've come up with to help you get through that situation. All right, tip number one is to actually go and find a stock footage site like Storyblocks. I'm not saying Storyblocks is the one you should use, but this is something that you can use. Just go to, there's a lot of like stock footage sites out there that you can basically subscribe to. Uh, I would suggest going to the subscription route because you can get unlimited downloads for a lot of these subscription places. So instead of picking individual shots, unless there's like specific individual shots, but if you're very uh, time, if, you, if you're very budget conscious, then you might want to look at specifically going for like something like Storyblocks. Again, not sponsored by Storyblocks, but I find that that is kind of a nice place to go to if you want to get stock footage for a reasonable price. And you only have to pay a monthly subscription fee and you get unlimited downloads. So if you've got a little bit of budget to spend on overlay, that's where I would go. Now, the second new thing you can do is actually use this really basic technique, which is to emphasize specific things that people say. So call out particular quotes and put them on a black screen or some sort of, you know, uh, cool background like this. Now this can be kind of effective. You kind of put it, you kind of dramatize these things and you kind of pull certain words out to really emphasize particular points and it can be kind of used. But I warn you, only use this sparingly. Doing this through the whole video is probably not the best idea, but if you need to kind of spell things out for people and you want to really emphasize a point home and really break up the imagery just a little bit, um, putting black text and putting white text on a black background to emphasize certain points is not actually not a bad idea. All right, third tip I've got for you guys is to basically punch in. So, you know, you've got this wide shot here, which we've got, you know, there's lots of framing. So frame your shot a little bit wider, 4K or whatever, you know, something higher than HD. And then what you do is you just punch in. You punch in to give a little bit of like, you know, to cover up that little bit of a cut in between. Um, you, you don't have to do it too much. Again, it's something that you use sparingly, but if you want to just kind of give it a little bit more emphasis, you can just kind of punch in and uh, just to kind of break up the monotony of the, the footage in general. All right, guys, so that's my three tips for basically helping you get through the situation when you have no B-roll, you have no way to emphasize the points that you're doing. Um, it's probably, these are the tips that I've used and I use it over and over again to basically get through some edits, especially when you have clients who have no budget. And if you are starting out, it's a good way to kind of get a little bit more production value out of doing just a few little things to kind of push that thing forward. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. If you liked what you saw today, if you thought that was kind of useful, smash like on that like button. It really helps the algorithm to really get it out there. And if you want to follow everything else that's happening with me, go and check out NickBenQ underscore motion on my Instagram. We're posting lots of stories, lots of experiments, lots of uh, really fun stuff that we like to do, which doesn't really fit the YouTube format. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening and I'll see you guys next time. And guys, if you want to help support the channel, I have this wicked product called the Lyric Video Creator Kit, which not only assists you with making lyric videos, but is a quick and easy way to add tasteful animated text to your Premiere timeline. Five Premiere starter projects, 22 animated presets, plus 10 overlay video elements. But best of all, no After Effects skills required. Plus, we even have a 30 minute masterclass to help you get going. So what are you waiting for? Grab your Lyric Video Creator Kit today and get started.